and what type of team or staff skills would the leader need to consider? So go ahead and uh, take a couple of minutes and, and type those in, and I'll share some of those with you. Again, here we're focusing on an organization that needs leader skills, that has leader issues. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, I might have to uh, scroll down here myself. Hang on. Okay. Okay, so we, okay, bring in a consultant for problem solving. Yes, that's actually uh, kind of a, um, uh, a low risk thing to do is, honestly, companies, if there's issues, you bring in somebody from outside. You, you, but there's two things here. One is that you bring in somebody from outside, you actually get a point of view, because you're, you're, you're caught up in your group think so much, that uh, they'll give you a different point of view. The other thing, and I'll be a little cynical here, is also the sort of the blame the consultant thing. I mean, it, 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 some of it is, well, if you don't like their answer, you know, it's easier to say you don't like the consultant than to, uh, you know, your own employee's opinion. That's a little bit cynical. But with that said, it does give you an extra point of view uh, uh, in order in, in, to push what your limits of thinking are about that. Um, you could have, uh, again, we have the, uh, outside, you know, we're getting a lot of stuff on bringing in outside uh, for uh, brainstorming, for creativity. Uh, again, I, I would encourage that. It's usually a safe thing to do on the, on the first round is bringing somebody from outside. Another thing, too, is you really do, and, and some of you may do this, is uh, you may call it different things, but these different cross-functional, cross-business unit environments. Uh, some of you out there may have a formal or informal rotation programs, and uh, that would be an example of, uh, of one of these things that you might want to consider. Okay, so that was, that was, a, that was a good representation.